The behavior quotient of the human being is a relatively constant phenomenon. However, when a human is faced with novel social and emotional inputs, their behavior can change drastically. Case in point. Specimen 1. This self-assured, well-adjusted human offers no exterior evidence of exuding unpredictable behavior. But let us observe this specimen further. I'm pretty excited to be here. My mom's a lawyer, so I'm pretty familiar with like what being a lawyer is all about. Yeah, and you know, I don't think I'll go out for all those like clubs and events because I, I, I think I know what I want to do as a lawyer. So like I'll join some clubs and go to some events, but this is law school, right? And last time I checked, school is about the curriculum, not the extra curriculum. <laughs> it's a research group that I head we're conducting an in-depth analysis of common court reporting errors, and we're currently focusing on erroneous comma use. It's made up of mostly student volunteers. You should join if it sounds like it would interest you. Yeah, that sounds really interesting. Um, so is it about mostly pointing out how court reporting errors lead to miscarriages of justice? Uh, miscarriages of justice? No, we're just compiling data right now. I'll be presenting the findings at a conference in June. Oh. Okay, well, I'll definitely think about it. Sure, no pressure. Good luck. I'm looking at law school as a game. And when you look at it that way, you realize the most important thing is to win. And I'm definitely here to win. I have a friend who just graduated who's working at a top Bay Street firm. He tells me that playing at nice law school will get you a job writing wills. If you play tough, you'll be the one ordering other lawyers to write the wills. And one should never forget, games are meant to be fun. And I definitely intend to have fun winning this game. Hey Karina, how are things going so far? Uh, okay, I guess. I'm just a bit freaked out with all these extracurriculars they're throwing at us. I don't know. I mean, I just thought the point of them was to have fun doing something that you wanted to do or something you were really interested in. Yeah? So? Well, it just seems like it's a bunch of resume padding and doing pointless things so you look good to the people that didn't do them. Yeah, well, you know, I, I wouldn't really worry about it. Like, it's all good, right? You guys going to the etiquette class tonight? What etiquette class? You don't know? <laughs> well, I'd find out if I were you. Anyone wanting a job next summer, better know how to act. Seriously, what are you talking about? Well, wait, what time is it at? 6.30, here in the interaction area. It's right after the l slap intro, which is piggybacked to the law review intro. You're doing the law review too? I thought they only took a few select candidates. Yep, and I expect to be one of them. That guy should write self-help books. <laughs> what, what's wrong with that guy? I don't know. Maybe I should do that law research group. I gotta go, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, okay. Right now, I'm just trying to stay on task. I can tell I'm stressed because I've started to drink coffee and I'm a habitual tea drinker. I went to that etiquette thing last night. That was pretty dumb. They told us basically to wear clothes that match and to not interrupt people when they're talking. I mean, I'm sorry, but if you can't do those two things, you probably don't belong in law school. Like Cameron? I didn't even think he was coming to this etiquette thing. He shows up late with this huge brown stain on his shirt. I think he's slipping. I'm worried about him. Wakey, wakey. There's a meeting in here in 15 minutes for the Adopter Road Club. 15 minutes. So why are you waking me up now? Uh, because there's a meeting in 15 minutes for the Adopter Road Club. Adopter Road? That sounds so, uh, 
lame. I mean, isn't there a more... Isn't there a more efficient way of using law students' time? Two things. First, adopt a road is great for law students because it helps us to dispel the myth that all lawyers are just sociopathic dirtbags. Two, put that cookie down. I know you didn't pay for it. Yeah, well, someone paid for it. Bad for him, dude. Don't worry, I won't tell. Well, I gotta go in the little boys' room. Save my spot. What is happening here? I mean, where did these people come from? I know where William's coming from, only because nobody knows where William's coming from. But Karina, seriously. I didn't think she would get sucked into all of this crap. Like, everyone's just doing it to please other people. <sighs> well, I mean, I was planning on joining some clubs, and uh, I guess some of these events wouldn't hurt too much. Adopt a road. Why are you in that suit? Uh, I, I don't have time to go home before uh, the mayor time for wine and cheese tonight. I gotta go to that research group, the com, uh, court reporting one. Oh, you joined that group? It sounded so lame. Well, aren't you worried you're gonna get your suit dirty? Yeah, I. I, I, I guess so. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not thinking straight. What a jerk. Well, anyways, I gotta go study. I'll see you later, Cameron. Yeah, study. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta study too. The human has now reached a stage of total surrender, having replaced all his prior understanding of what is right with the queer sense of obligation scrounged from his peers. The human is now dangerously unstable. <laughs>